I V M. How far along does your journey with tech go? Uh, quite a long time ago. Um, um, I think I got involved in tech and independent music way back in 2004. uh when i just got out of college uh, i have a friend by the name of gaurav uh, already also a good candidate for the show uh, manages raghu dikshit project mm-hmm. uh and used to play music back in college right so he was the cool guy in our group um and uh, gaurav introduced us to a bunch of independent musicians in, in in bangalore and we thought a lot of them played really good music but nobody knew about them mm-hmm. right and uh, being the the geek or the tech guy in that in that uh, in I that know team very well how that is I'm yeah <laughs> yeah also so does. so but garos garos fairly tech savvy too so uh, we kind of decided sometime in late 2004 early 2005 that we'll do something about it right so we launched a online radio station called radio verb i'd already done a fair amount of open source work so uh, was involved in open source uh through college through a college linux users group and so on and so forth mm-hmm. um so we decided to launch a radio channel online radio channel called radio verb which was possibly india's first attempt to put only independent music on 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 an online radio station i mean you're talking about like this is i think the biggest i don't even <gasps> remember what the biggest online radio station was that time like dreamcast was still alive wow. right <laughs> like it was just becoming yahoo radio <laughs> and um Uh, I I don't think Ghana Savan none of them ever no, existed. No, this is no. long time ago. Yeah. Um so we start playing it and uh, like it's it's one of the multiple times you discover serendipity in life. Uh the first week we launched the station there were six people on the show when we and it was a live radio show, yeah. right? Um we could identify every one of them um easily because they were my friend his girlfriend <laughs> my mom uh like in between the show you could hear my mom yell in the background saying hey but dinner's ready come down and eat and i'm like oh, like so it started there but uh, soon we discovered there's there's a huge number of people who who were into independent music in india but didn't have a place to listen to it mm-hmm. uh this is again pre youtube uh so uh, rich multimedia was just about starting on the internet mm-hmm. um and within the first 3 4 months we used to have 20 30000 people re- oh, wow. listening to the That's radio station number. yeah is a huge number it's still That's live an expensive eh? number too isn't it no it wasn't really? Shout, like 64 kbps shoutcast streams weren't that expensive okay, right. um and then i had written like like an open source wrapper around it which allowed uh which allowed you to like make playlist play a playlist schedule stuff record all sorts of stuff right uh and that allowed me to like meet a lot of other people within the indie music circuit in india uh and i continue to do a lot of open source work with a conference i used to organize called foster in in bangalore uh so as as this journey kind of unfolded we try to make radio of a business we failed miserably uh we didn't know anything about a business um funny enough like we didn't know what an agency was like i remember 2006 somebody said oh you could be an agency I'm like what's an agency <laughs> um uh, and um, we tried with radio um we couldn't really figure out how to monetize it so we said okay we're going to continue like doing this on the side because right. we were famous because of it oh. right we were uh, famous then yeah. uh, <laughs> when when you could be internet famous <laughs> when you could be relatively internet famous yeah <laughs> like i remember i was the first shares on google search if you searched back then ah. I, i i don't think i am anymore <laughs>